Hey everybody, Kathy here at the Paint Party by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm just reusing one of my old canvases here because I'm trying a new swish that I'm going to be doing. And uh, I got to see how it turns out. I didn't want to wreck a new canvas just in case, Phil. You never know. <laughs> well, it's always a good idea if you have some some paintings that you're not quite sure of and... and oh. And I, I mean, I just scrape some and I can't keep all of them. So I'd have way too many doing a video every single day. So, and if some are too, you know, sometimes I have a couple that are really similar. That's the ones I get rid of. So this is one of them and I'm redoing it in black. This one actually had a white base. So I'm covering this with a black base, which is tricorn black from Sherwin Williams, 12 inch, no silicone, no water, no glue. I'm glad you told me that because I, I was wondering. I bet you were. I was. Okay, so my colors are iridescent green blue by PBO. This is Josanja Burgundy and Jasmine Primary Elements. Windsor and Newton Titanium White. This is Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam and Iridescent Green Blue by uh, PBO. Deep Gold by Amsterdam. And this is Prism Pour Chrysocolla by ah, Primary Elements. I love Elements. that color. Yes, you do, Phil. Some glitz in there. We're gonna have a little glitz. Just a little glitz. We're gonna see what happens with our glitz. Never know. And I don't a lot of times put white in, but I thought, ah, I'm gonna put a little white in because of the black background. Mm, I like it when you put white in, especially with the black backgrounds because it shows up here and there and helps to offset some of the colors. Mm-hmm, it does. Here comes your favorite, Phil. Here we go, right out of the bottle. That's what's nice about those prison pores by Color Art. They're ready made right out of the bottle. If they need to be thinned, which Kathy hasn't had that problem, uh, you can add some water and there's some other things, additives you can add if you want to. But they work wonderfully right out of the bottle especially for people like me who don't have a clue on how to mix anything. Hey, you got me to mix your stuff, babe. And what are you putting on your spatula? Black. <laughs> black Oxide Black by Amsterdam and Australian Floatron. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this Cell gold. activator, okay. A little bit of the uh, Precious Gold, Iridescent Precious Gold by PBO. That is a cell activator also, correct? Correct. Okay. You can make your cell activator any color you want uh, because it's basically Australian Floetrol and whatever color, I think it's tube paints you use. But I usually don't use a, another color for my cell activator. I know, that's true, but it's always fun to play around. Okay. Wow, look at that Chrysocolla, Chrysocolla. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna get it right. I know, that's okay. We're gonna have to ask Leslie exactly how to pronounce that. I think she's told me. I think, yeah, I think uh, she has. But, uh, you know how I retain stuff. In one ear, out the other. I think uh, who's ever watching gets the idea. In one ear, out the other, Phil. That is true, nothing, uh, nothing usually stays. What, is it hollow in there? <laughs> well, I do hear echoes every <laughs> once in a while, so. Here we got uh, There's your Chrysocolla. Here we go. Beautiful. It's kind of cool. Some, yes. It is actually kind of cool. We'll let it keep percolating a little bit while I clean up my mess here. And I mean, I do have a, a big mess. But that's okay. That's what painting is for. It's only paint. <laughs> That's right. Paint wipes up. I think I'm gonna like that though. Well, I can't wait to see what you do with it. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but we will be. 
We will be done shortly. Kathy does have a Facebook page called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join. You can post your own creations, ask questions, make comments. It's a wonderful group. We keep it nice and safe for everybody. These colors are really pretty. Yes, they are. Very striking. And you can see the, the color that you put on the top is uh, got moved all the way to the side, which is okay. Because okay. it does uh, definitely make a difference in what order you put the paints on, um, where they're going to end up if you're doing some swiping. I don't want to get that on my, you know what I mean, my board. On this, I got in so, some more unsolicited advice for you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to actually keep some of the black background I uh, showing. I'm it back. Okay. Uh, that's quite interesting. I uh, can you have the? Just hang on, Phil. Okay. Just hang on. Well, I was just going to full really... black paint here. You want? You're not going to get paint on you because there's none on the sticks. I like this where you have the the nice blue, beautiful blue hues, chrysocolla, chrysocolla hues at the bottom, and then you come up and you it bursts into different colors there at the top. This is that's really, really that's really really nice. I I like this a lot. This is beautiful. Do you, you don't have to spin it, do you? Or do I mean, I, I mean, could, if you have to, I could just fine. But I think it's, it's not going to be that much. Okay. It's probably not even doing any good. No, we're going to leave it because it's okay. pretty. Well, here's the other way, where you have the blue at the top. I don't know if that's considered a blue. But it's more of a um, tealish color. Well, that's actually, I think what's happening is the uh, prison pour chrysocolla is mingling into the sky blue light with the iridescent oh, green yeah. blue, okay. All right. which makes it kind of like a teal. Mm. This is beautiful. Look what the chrysocolla does. A prism pour, which are glitzy and sparkly. Don't go too fast. It's. To it. So when you have this resin, it's just going to be very, very nice and yeah. This is sparkly, this is colorful. Really, really I love pretty. it from this. I love it from this uh, direction. I can tell you do, because your face lights up. <laughs> your face lights up, Phil. It and does? you know what? I can see your shadow. Your uh, shadow in there. Mm -hmm. In the black. Hey, there you got the um, that gold that you used in a cell activator. Mm -hmm. Outlined. Outlining the top. Very cool. That is cool. And, and then, then the, you have the black, yeah, the black outlining cell act down here. Yes. So that was kind of a neat idea. Adding that extra. Yeah, and I never, ever really use a colored cell activator because it, it like blends in too much. But this really stands out. Yeah, the gold, especially with the black gold, mm -hmm. stands out very, very nicely. Really stands out. I like this, and I actually do like the white in there. I like a tad of white. It just breaks everything up. It, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. Lightens up. Uh, and it's really nice. Uh, in the in the center, you have sort of the cro this crossing in the center that separates this beautiful, cool bottom with all the cells. It's really pretty. It reminds me, down here, it reminds me of a, a Caribbean color. It does. It's really, yeah, really pretty. Exactly. So, with that said, everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Because every time you give me a thumbs up, it really helps our channel. So, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like it, give me, give me a thumbs up. I hope you learned a new technique. If you've never tried this swiping technique, please try it because it's, it's a lot of fun. Don't let it intimidate you. Don't ever let anything intimidate you. Like I always say, it's only paint. And like I went over this canvas today, go over some canvases. Scrape it off, go over some canvases. If you have one that's pretty much like the other one, go on over it and see what you can get differently. So 
With that being said, I hope everybody stays well, stays healthy, and we love all of you and have a wonderful day. Do you have anything else to say, Phil? Oh, jump on over to our Facebook group, oh, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller, and I think I mentioned that. Share your art with all of us. Well, yeah, exactly. It doesn't hurt to say it twice, that's for sure. Also, don't forget that Kathy does have an Amazon shop that it contains all the supplies you may need for paint pouring. There's a direct link to her Amazon shop in the description box. And also all her original art is for sale in her Etsy shop. So hop into her Etsy shop, see what she has uh, for sale. And There's quite a few pieces in there. Like Phil has said in the past, we're getting ready to do some art shows. Not now. They don't start until like, I think, October? September, End of October? October? No, not September. Uh, late October and then definitely November yeah. is, is, is the big start. Yeah. So uh, that's why there are so many pieces. If you see one that you like, pick it up because you know what? Once it gets to the art shows, it's not going to be there. So with that being said, I love all of you and so does Phil. And we will see you later, alligators. Bye-bye till tomorrow. Take another look at this. Such an interesting composition. I love it.